I am the Nerf Curator. Hey, what up YouTube? This is Triple Bification, also known as Triple B. I am the Nerf Curator. What's going on guys? Got another video for you. We are here at the bunker at Mr. Captain Xavier's place. And uh, he helped me with a few projects that I needed help finishing off. But I was at my local Toys R Us, and you guys have may have already seen reviews on this thing. I don't know, maybe not. But uh, you guys remember, remember my uh, other video I had last week, uh, where I did a review on the K26 on the Halo Plasma Boomco Blaster. Um, and I ran across this, and uh, I haven't played the last Halo game, so I don't know what guns are out there for the game. And I saw this, and I just thought it was quirky and cute. What is this? Please comment down below letting me know, because <laughs> I, I literally just got this, and I have no clue. Uh, it says Targeting Blaster. It's the UNSC H295. And it shoots Boomco darts, and I was wondering if this thing could take an upgrade. So look for this in a future video. Um, what I will do today is I'll crack this thing open and see how it shoots. But it's kind of funny looking, and you, if you guys are a fan of the game and you know what it is, go ahead and let me know down below. I also wanted to do a uh, quick, uh, let you guys know the value of some old blasters in case you have them in your collection, and it might be worth a little bit of money and definitely worth keeping. So. I got two blasters I'm going to show you today. And last but not least, I did a modification. And I don't know if anyone else has done this, but just in case, I want to put it out there so you guys know. Um, I did the normal, this is my Elite uh, long shot. And uh, I pretty much just K26 did. Did the reinforced mods, uh, did not take out the air restrictor. Because uh, right now, with the air restrictor, this thing's punching 90 to 100 feet per second with air restrictor. Uh, and so I wanted to be able to play this on the field uh, without worrying about hurting somebody or something like that. I just wanted to make sure that it was a, you know, equal all around, but worked well blaster. So I kept it in there and it really works well. Uh, but here is the modification. Uh, so. We'll start with this, I guess, and then we'll move on to the other stuff. You guys may recognize this. This is the Spectre Barrel, which people call the silencer. Um, this one obviously has been painted, uh, but I took this and made it into a Scar Barrel. Now, I was going to try to cut this thing open and do it all like that, but I found an easier way. So, what you do... show you this real quick take your PVC so what I did is I took the three-quarter inch C PVC uh, and I hollowed it out with a, a knife right here not hollowed it out but just made it so the groove right here is cut down and so it can accept darts in without catching a lip and you can see it's kind of ghetto looking right now that's just because this is like the prototype uh, but it works and I took three strings and you literally connect them one and then like a half inch connect another one and then half inch connect another one run the string down through the middle and then you move it over a half inch connect it move it over a half inch and basically what it does is it makes a spiral on the inside it's pretty simple technology basically the same premise as when a football player throws a football and when he lets go at the end it spins it which allows the ball to fly straighter. Basically, it's the same thing happening on here with a Nerf dart. So it does slow the dart down a little bit. So this thing will not work with your regular blasters. You do have to have it modified uh, in order for it to function properly. But the cool thing that I did, everyone knows about the scar barrel. Well, at least you may or may not. But the cool thing I did is I made it so you can take this and simply grab one of your favorite connectors here slide it inside, press, and boom. You got yourself a scar barrel that can attach 
to your blaster. I think it looks pretty cool. And that's kind of nice. So, I, uh... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, it fires hard and accurate now. And it's really nice because, as you know, streamlines are pretty inaccurate. But with the Scarborough on there, it's giving me about 50% more uh, accuracy, which is nice. And so, yeah, so there is my modification and my uh, scar barrel uh, attachment mod. So there's that. So, next, we're going to do the review of this little thing in a real quick firing. Um, like I said, I have not seen this blaster. I'm a little bit out of the loop. Um, like I said, I just recently became a fan of Boomco. Um, I'm a hardcore nerf, but Boomco has won me over, especially, like I said before, I was, I was shot in the face from a long distance, and I was impressed by the accuracy. And, uh, yeah, so I like both now, which is okay. You can do that. All right, pop this open. Get into it. Some little piece here. Looks like a Gundam piece. Put it on the side of your head. Hello? Hello? Yes? No? Okay. So, this attaches here. Looks like it does like this and like that. Once again, guys, tell me what the heck this is. Um, it's the funkiest little blast I've ever seen. I don't know. But, it shoots stuff, so I figured I'd grab it. And at first I thought it shot two, but it looks like it's the other one's actually just where you aim. And uh, yeah, it's a little aiming reticle thing. So it only shoots one. It's not bad. It's not the best, obviously, but okay, that, that was better. We will see if we can get upgrade and um, go from there. It might be a cool little blaster to have as a sneak attack side blaster or something. So there's that. The uh, target blaster. This is a section where we do the rare blaster part. This little guy here, you may recognize it, you may not. Believe it or not, this is a little rare ball blaster. Very funny, very funky. Um, Yes, it is made by Nerf. And believe it or not, this thing is very sought after for collectors. Price-wise, they don't go for very much, um, but they are hard to find, especially if you're trying to complete a ball shooter collection. So if you have this in your collection, good job. I'm gonna do a quick shooting demo for you. Ready? So, it shoots definitely not like the powerhouse it's just really cute it shoots maybe about 10 15 feet but that's fine because it's just a little quirky dorky blaster but if you have it in your collection good job because this thing is actually kind of rare uh, next blaster mr. Xavier can hand me uh, this is one of my favorites um, you can actually find this little blaster a review on it um, in the YouTube libraries uh, this is called the Mustang 6, and it is, oh my god, an awesome, quirky blaster. So, this one is being modded, hence the uh, white PVC on the front. Uh, this little guy right here is what the barrel used to look like, and as you can see, it looks kind of dorky. It looks like a trumpet or something, uh, but I'm going to give this little guy a paint job because I actually had to repair this one. Usually, I wouldn't mess with a vintage blaster like this, but uh, since I've had to uh, change the body, uh, then it gives me kind of the okay to uh, do some work to it. So what I did is I gave it a better spring, um, and obviously, I'm going to give it a paint job, but I'm a big fan of Hellraiser, or Hellraiser. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Hellboy. <laughs> Two different genres. <laughs> um, and uh, this kind of reminds me of his 
his awesome uh, blaster, his, uh, his hand cannon. It's just amazing. So here's the gimmick. So here, first of all, it shoots like this. All right, you just pull the trigger, no big deal. Um, that's not the gimmick, okay? The gimmick is this. So I've emptied all, the, and that, by the way, it didn't shoot anything because it's, it's empty. Um, there's, I actually got one. So the gimmick on this thing is basically, it shoots normal. Uh, you load it from the front, or there's another trick, you can load it from the back. That's where the gimmick kicks in on this gun. So on this side, you have a button. On this side, you have the opening gate, okay? I want to load it. Did you see that? I'll show you again. It's totally quirky, but it's cool. It shoots the shells out. And you can load them, because it has a little chamber here. You slide it in, lock it in place, and you're rocking and rolling. And so let's see here. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> but it's like you said, it's not the like the most ultimate blaster in the world. It's just fun and quirky. But this thing is super rare. And if you have this in your collection, now this thing can run some bucks. Anywhere from 80, I've seen them go for a hundred. So Mustang 6. Have it. Good job. Awesome work. So there it is, guys. Uh, and by the way, obviously, it's Mustang 6, so it holds six rounds. And the rounds are the Busby rounds. So don't do too good in shooting these, but it does shoot these. You have to basically modify these shells in order to make them accept any type of round. Um, I can do a video on that one day, too. But if not, you have to shoot these little guys because they fit the best. But yeah, so... Mustang 6, you got it, good job. So there it is, guys. That's pretty much it for the video today. Hey, it's this is uploaded on Monday, so this happy uh, New Year. You guys, hope we're starting off the year good. I'm starting off good. I got over 2,000 subscribers. Uh, Xavier did agree to help me with the giveaway video, and uh, so I'm very excited about that. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be uh, giving away one of my blasters to somebody who's lucky. And all you have to do is uh, the video right before this one, so I think that was Friday's video, go to that video and comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel to also make sure that you qualify to get the giveaway. So we will see. So thanks a lot guys for watching. I am the Nerf Curator. I'll keep the light on.